Well, here we are, Brother Chan, a year without an E3. So, basically like last year and the year before it. No, I mean, well, yes, technically, but this year it's really not happening. Like last year. Even more than last year, Chan, this year it's dead. It was pretty dead last year, as I recall. You know what I mean, Chan. Yes, it was basically dead last year, but this year... It's starting to smell. E well, to be honest, it was pretty pungent even back when it was alive, but this year it's officially cancelled... No hope of emerging from the sickbed or clawing through the coffin lid, as case may be. Time does march on, Brother Shu. In its place, we've seen a number of smaller, more frequent presentations arise, including a developer direct from Xbox later this month. Plenty to look forward to there, avowed Indiana Jones. Yeah, but you're not going to get that pageantry, the festival atmosphere from these smaller presentations. We could blow up balloons and make corn dogs. No, no, it's the scale that matters. All that other associated foo for all just attaches to it organically, like barnacles to a ship or TikTok followers to uncomfortably young ladies. I wonder, Chen, is it simply the life cycle of these massive global exhibitions to grow, decline, and expire within the span of a few decades, or were they never feasible to begin with and it just takes that long for the organizers to admit defeat? What do you mean, Brother Shu? Well, like the reason we don't see anything on the scale of the 1964 World's Fair anymore. An undeniable cultural touchstone, but a dead financial loss. Publishers were complaining about a poor return on investment for years before E3 threw in the towel. Heck, we suffered substantial material losses there ourselves. You mean when we forgot our phone chargers back in the Los Angeles Marriott? And your electric razor. It was an itchy flight home. So that's the question. Can any large exposition be sustainable beyond, for instance, the business model of FIFA's World Cup, which gets hot potatoed across the globe every four years, just long enough for the next sucker to forget how it wrecked the economy and infrastructure of the last small country that hosted it? Well, I suppose there's always the possibility of of holding a large-scale virtual exposition. That's true, so long as the goal is fostering virtual enthusiasm. 